An old man and his dog stand together looking across the open water. They live in a small coastal town in Alaska. The news reported that the old man's son had drowned while they were out fishing. It was a fluke accident, the reporter had said. There was nothing more anyone could do. The old man and the dog glanced at each other, then back at the water. They knew better. It had been a dark, foggy night as the old man and his son Thomas had been out fishing. They always brought their dog Crichton, who loved to be out on the boat. The two men were enjoying a beer when the dog started to growl. What is it, boy? Thomas asked. In an instant, something huge had latched onto Thomas's arm. He fell back into the water. His father jumped in after him to no avail. The dog and the old man were forced to watch as the dark thing took his son, pulling him down deep into the water. That had been one week ago. An accident? No. Though it was dark, the man had made out two distinct yellow eyes. He swore the thing had smiled back at him as it pulled his son farther and farther into the darkness. A week later, having hardly left his home, the old man filled up the dog's food and water bowls on the porch. He locked the front door of his little house and put the key in the mail. Walking down to the dock, the old man was lost in thought. He held back tears as he knew he would never see his son again. He would never get to talk with him, never hear him laugh. The monster had taken all that away. Boarding the 30-foot sailboat, the dog quickly jumped on before the old man could push the boat off from shore. Where do you think you're going? The dog looked back up at him and towards the open water. I don't think we're going to make it back, boy. Seeing what looked like determination in the dog's eyes, the old man nodded. The dog had left his son too. Armed only with an old spear gun and a knife his son had given him, he had decided to kill whatever had taken Thomas. They motored into the night, one week exactly from the day his son had died. Same time of night, same foggy conditions. I figure it was sometime around midnight, the old man said, turning the old wooden wheel of the boat and scanning the fog. Maybe it hunts at midnight. The dog stood silently near the wheel, not leaving the old man's side. It wasn't until two in the morning that the creature finally showed itself. It peeked its head up from under the water. Though it was a hundred yards out, two large yellow eyes stood out in the darkness of the water. The dog growled fiercely as the old man grabbed the spear gun and stared at the creature. They locked eyes. The monster slowly moved farther out, not in fear, but beckoning the old man and the dog to follow. And they did. It led them out miles from shore into the beginnings of a storm. Watching Crichton pace back and forth, the old man watched the creature in the water ahead of them. I know what it's doing, boy. It don't matter. We ain't coming back, but that thing ain't either. We're gonna kill it. For Thomas. As the sailboat was now fully in the storm, the hull shook violently with each new wave. The two of them took cover below and kept watch through the small windows as they waited. Suddenly, the monster appeared. It broke the glass of the window and slashed its claws into the flesh of the old man's shoulder. The spear gun dropped from his hands and slid across the floor. Barking furiously, the dog lunged at the monster and bit down. Screaming in pain, the thing leapt away from the shattered window. They could hear it moving around them to the other side of the boat. Dark red blood poured from the man's shoulder. I'm alright. Let's kill it, boy. 
He grabbed the spear gun and opened the hatch as they went outside cautiously into the storm. The rain was blinding and they could barely see. Where is it, boy? Seeing something rush towards him, the old man fired the gun quickly and struck the monster. Even at 72, he was a hell of a shot. As he bent down to reload the gun, the creature came at him again. It hit the old man full force in the chest, knocking him back and sinking its razor-sharp teeth into him again and again. Then a scream of surprise and rage echoed through the downpour. The creature felt the strong jaws of the dog lock on the back of its neck. Its claws flailed wildly, raking the dog's side. But the dog never faltered. He stood with his paws on the thing's back and bit down hard. There was a snapping sound and the creature lay still. But its eyes were still aware and as it lay, unable to move, it watched the old man and the dog with a rage and pure hatred. You shouldn't have taken my son. Staring back at the monster, the old man found the handle of his knife and plunged it deep into the creature's skull. With a shudder, its raspy breath stopped. It was finally dead. They had killed it. Sitting back down to rest for a moment, the old man struggled to stand. He dragged the creature's limp carcass to the back of the boat, pulled it up and over the side, and let it go. The old man and the dog watched as it slid, lifeless, into the sea. As the two of them sat together on the boat one last time, the old man rested his hand on the dog's head good boy. He pulled out his flare gun and shot it once, far into the sky. I'm sorry, boy. You stay here. Though the sky was beginning to clear, the lingering wind still shook the boat from side to side. The dog watched as the old man closed his eyes. His head fell through his chest, and he slid peacefully into the sea. Almost jumping in after him, the dog quietly whined and paced back and forth. The old man had told him to stay. Sometime later, the Coast Guard pulled up next to the boat. They found only a large German Shepherd, covered in blood, looking down into the water. And that's how it came to be, that an old man and a dog killed a monster.